You had sex in his chair? <laughs> wow. You have what? Sex in his chair. <laughs> Evie. Welcome back to the channel. We got another Friends Reaction Season 1 Episode night, uh, 20. I want to let you guys know something, but I'm probably going to tell you at the end of this reaction just so you won't be like sad or anything. Okay, see, now now I feel sad just having to mention that to you guys. It's something sad. I'll, it's, I, I mean, is it? I, I don't know. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get into this. There's some creep out there with a the telescope. <gasps> is he looking at you guys? Let it dangle. Yeah. Oh. You gotta keep her like wanting more. Pressuring me to find one of you people. Dang, what? I feel so attacked. And basically, that's how a bill becomes a law. Uh -huh. Right, 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 right. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes. <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? I mean, it was never like that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Oh, Barry, come on, this is all way too... No, 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 we, we, we can uh, go to... Barry, when I went there on this one, is nothing one, like your... Ad, stop, stop it, Ad, stop, stop, please. Can I just pause an episode? They don't want me to pause, bro. Like I said before, the only Barry I like here on television is Alan. Granted, I don't know too many Barrys on TV. But I know a Bartholomew, a Bartholomew. So we're just gonna get back into this episode. Rachel is clearly making the wrong decision. Cause like, it's just messy. It's it's really messy of her to do this. How do you take it? Pretty well, actually. You had sex in his chair? Wow. I said that a a little too loudly, didn't I? It's apples and oranges. It's it's orthodontists and lesbians. I gotta go. <laughs> Where are you going? I just have to go, all right? Do I need a reason, huh? Mindy. Go. Okay. But if you want, you can you can you can come by if you want. <laughs> Nah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. I just thought to myself, okay, so Ross, Ross likes Rachel, right? What if Phoebe and Joey got? They're kind of. They're kind of really. They're really similar. I feel like they. They both say a lot of like left field things just randomly, but it also pertains to the conversation in hand. So it, like, it makes sense. But Chandler and Monica. I never thought about that until this scene. Like, what if they became a thing? Like, that that might actually work. Tim is a really smart guy, and I feel like he'd be really respectable uh, towards Monica. I don't know if Monica's into him like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, that would be really dope, I feel. But again, I don't, I don't want to jinx it, so, like, I don't know. Please. Can't call her. I have some pride. Do you? No. <laughs> and he sits on the chair like that. <laughs> Either Mindy knows everything, or maybe she just wants to talk about a relationship. I think Barry is seeing someone in the city. Oh, what, what would make you think that? When Barry was engaged to you, he and I kind of... What? A little thing on the side. What? <laughs> oh, we are both so stupid. What do you mean? Heating device. Radiator. Five letters. Heard a dirt. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, get him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Hey, you got a second? We are here to break up with you. We'll, 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 we'll nah, Mindy. <laughs> Cut him off. Cut him off. Hey, if I'm the ball too much, Why do I feel like Mindy's right gonna cave? Couple, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna marry him. <laughs> I knew it. Danielle, hi. 
Hi, everybody. This is Danielle. Well, she seems very nice and everything, but that whole thing about her coming all the way down here just to see if I was okay, I mean, how needy is that? Oh, Chandler. That was a bittersweet episode. Um, the last episode ended in a way... I wasn't too big a fan of, and that's only because I just want to see Ross happy. Like, at the end of the day, I want to see Ross get the girl of his dreams. I don't know if he will by the end of the series, but whenever there's an obstacle in the path, especially if there's a person, a guy involved, it always gets to me. And this time it was Barry, and not the, not the Barry that I like, but the Barry that I thought Rachel was through with and she she had to revisit old memories. She had to make new ones just to come to the conclusion that it was best for her to leave him alone. And honestly, like he ended up being a terrible, like, <laughs> yo, like the people that Rachel is messed with, they've all been, they've all been trash. Like, Paolo, Barry, well, for, actually it was Barry first, because technically he was going to be her husband, and he was out here cheating on, cheating on her on the low, and just never told her, and Mindy never told her either, and that's really tough, bro, that's really tough, the fact that she decided to stay friends with Mindy after finding out the truth, but granted, she did the same thing, so I guess, like, it's like they were even, and they were both relieved that that the, uh, that the other person, you know, was able to get justice in their own weird, twisted way. But Ross was very unhappy this episode. He was very unhappy with Rachel's decisions, with Rachel essentially growing apart from him. Like, Rachel's so close. He's so close to, like, I don't know, just opening up to Ross and like really finding out that he has feelings for her. But it's like each episode she she goes halfway and then she gets she gets drawn back by some person or something in life and it's it's what it is. It's what has been happening and I it's like I like it. I like it because it creates tension, it creates drama, maybe stress for Ross, but at the end of the day, I feel like, I feel like they're meant for each other. I, I don't know, maybe, they may not be, but I would like for them to be together. For th I would like for them to be together by the end of the series, maybe even before the end of the series. So it's not like a, so it's not like how Smallville ended, you know, for those people that watched Smallville and you know how that last episode went. It was kind of unfulfilling for those people who like wanted to see more than what we saw in the series finale of Smallville. And I just hope the series finale of Friends is like way different to where we can see, you know, Ross and Rachel together, you know, outside of just the last episode. You know, I hope the last episode isn't where they start you know because it would just leave so much to be desired from their relationship on on camera like on on the set on scenes but i mean i guess i would be okay with it at that point you know chandler chandler did his thing <laughs> as always he was he was funny hilarious even had his did he have his sarcastic moments this episode i'm not sure i think he he always has sarcastic moments Chandler is great. He's always great. He's never... Oh, man. He's just always on his game when it comes to his witty nature, when it comes to his sarcasm. I love it. And Danielle is here, and she's very different from Janice, and I, I support it. I thought there would be more Janice in this season, like, after Janice said what she said to Chandler, uh, you know, a bunch of episodes ago, I thought we would see Janice more often, um, but she didn't show, so, uh, you know, so I'm not mad, but I'm also kind of disappointed because I was looking forward to seeing Janice a little more, but I'm not going to complain. I'm looking forward to next episode, regardless of, re regardless of who's in it. 
as long as we get to see somebody being happy at the end of the day like i i always like an episode where you know may it may not be all of the friends but at least one or two of the friends are happy by episodes end. and hopefully we get that next week actually this is where i wanted to let you guys know so now that the reaction's over i wanted to tell you guys friends will not be back on the channel until the week after next why because i'm dropping something that i i want to i want i want you guys to keep secret okay don't tell any don't tell too many people about this please all right don't don't tell don't tell too many people but next week i'm going to be dropping a couple office reactions just because i've fallen behind in like keeping up to date in season two and also next week i'm going to be dropping a reaction to the movie rocky i've never seen that before i i hear it's a big like thanksgiving themed movie and so I'm going to be reacting to that movie. I'm going to be seeing Rocky for the very first time. I'm whispering because I don't want too many people outside to hear. So I want you guys, just you guys, the friends, audience, to, to know that if you if you guys want to watch with me, I would really appreciate that. And we can like all watch together as a big group. And that, that, that'd be great. Like, that'd be awesome. Because, uh, you know, the more the merrier. So I will be reacting to Rocky next week. Rocky won the very first movie from like 1974 or something like that. Um, or was it 72? I think it was sometime in the 70s. Either way, reacting to that. Friends will be back the week after next. Episode 21, right? Yeah, episode 21 will be back the week after next. I promise you, you won't want to miss it because that episode is where. <laughs> Thank you.